What is Minecraft? I know it sounds like a ridiculous question, but please, humor me. The chances are that you've probably heard some people say that Minecraft is a sandbox with RPG elements, and this statement is true on one account, but false on another. I am instead going to say something that is much less often spoken. Minecraft survival mode is not really a sandbox. And this is not only a very important argument, but a very powerful one, and I'll explain why. So, the account that Minecraft being a sandbox with RPG elements is true on is Creative Mode. Creative Mode is a sandbox in the realist sense. You start out being able to do anything with no requirements of you. You have every single thing at your disposal. You want Elytra, you can pull one straight from your inventory. You can build whatever you want, you don't need to get any resources or worry about having to go to the end for endstone. It is a real sandbox, meant for those who really are there just to build and don't care about other aspects. But for survival mode, on the other hand, this is not the case. In survival mode, for everything, there is a task and there is a reward. If you want cherry wood, you need to seek out a cherry grove biome and punch down the tree. And another reality that is accepted with survival mode is that some items will come later in the progression than others, and thus will take longer to obtain. You want blackstone or netherite, you first need to get the resources to go to the nether. You want shulker boxes, you need to get all the way to the end. So it isn't a real sandbox. There are limitations to what you can do when. But even still, if you're up for the task, you can progress and obtain everything the game has to offer. And the overworld in particular features a lot of horizontal progression, resulting in somewhat of a sandbox. You can still build, you just need to get the resources. So I ask again, what is Minecraft? Specifically, survival mode is not a sandbox with RPG elements. Minecraft Survival Mode is a game with both RPG and sandbox elements. The sandbox elements lie in things like all of the horizontal progression and being able to build what you want when you get the resources. The RPG aspects lie in things like enchanting and dungeons and boss fights and weapons, all of those sorts of things. Minecraft is a cross between the two in a very interesting way, that makes it very unique as a video game. And this also ties into Minecraft's five core aspects. The building and engineering aspects pertain more to the sandbox mechanics. The combat progression and adventure aspects pertain more to the RPG side of the game. And contrary to what some people believe nowadays, these two sides of the game can exist in harmony with one another. Improving progression or some other RPG side of the game won't necessarily impede upon the sandbox side. It can, but not if Mojang plays their cards right. In my Improving Minecraft series that I am still continuing, this is something that I have been very carefully taking note of while thinking about features. It's why I spent five months on the progression plan. Now, what about what I mentioned earlier with this being a very important and powerful argument? Well, a very often used excuse for not adding a certain feature to the game or improving it in a certain aspect is that Minecraft is a sandbox with RPG elements and thus Mojang shouldn't be focusing on the RPG elements. Which is also wrong in the sense that the RPG elements are also supposed to be a part of the game anyway, but furthermore, as we've established, that statement only holds true for creative mode anyway. So by debunking this statement, you're pretty much taking away the basis of many arguments in the Minecraft community. Perhaps then people wouldn't be at each other's throats as often. Because with a game like Minecraft, it has these two sides. But the issue arises when people of one side think it's the entire point of the game and put themselves above others. Minecraft is a game that is designed to appeal to a very wide audience with its many core aspects. Allow me to try to illustrate the ongoing issue regarding this. 
say you discover Minecraft and you really like it for a certain core aspect. You like the others too, but you really like one above the others, and that's perfectly fine. But then, say, a large portion of the Minecraft community tells you that aspect doesn't matter, and so Mojang shouldn't focus on that, and in turn, your play style as a player doesn't matter. You don't matter. And this gets worse when you also have other people who play like you, and you're all told that you're not important. Doesn't matter whatever aspect it is, it's wrong to oppress someone because they prefer an aspect that you don't like. It's wrong to say that your favorite aspect is the only one that's important. Or to say, I only like this side of the game, and if you want the other side to be changed at all, then you're just a hater. The side, the aspect, none of it is important here. What's important is your attitude. So please remember that Minecraft wasn't made for just your play style. Your favorite side of the game or core aspect isn't more important than any of the others. And none of them, none of them need to impede on one another. They can all exist alongside each other. So why are people acting like they can't? What on earth brought us to this point as a community? Well, I find the answer to be the result of a more major change on YouTube and the internet in general. See, Minecraft survival mode was never meant to be a full sandbox, and it never will be. That's not why it was created. Survival was made as a separate mode from creative for a reason. Survival mode is pretty much a mashup of some of the most beloved video game aspects. Combat, adventure, building, progression, engineering, they're all very popular in gaming, and that's why Minecraft is such a success. And people used to be able to just play the game and accept that, accept it for what it was, that incredible mashup of aspects. After all, if you took one aspect out, well, all of your favorite old childhood survival series wouldn't exist as they were. Each aspect was integral to the game, and there wasn't really any fighting over which mattered more. But that old era of YouTube content sort of died out. YouTube videos started to be a lot more focused around, one, getting people's attention, and two, keeping their retention. Suddenly, there had to be almost constant stimulation, and every video had to be the best at something, the most extreme of something always having to one-up what had been done prior. And this also transferred over to the Minecraft community. Relaxing survival let's plays were no longer an option as they once were. At least not if you wanted to be really popular. For views, you needed to get people's attention. And what better a way to get people's attention by being the best of something. Building the largest mega base in Minecraft putting on the most absurd story for an SMP. And while this happened, Mojang under Microsoft began to focus less and less on the RPG side of Minecraft or those core aspects. Why? Well, simply, I think they were afraid that if they focused too much on RPG mechanics, then it might ruin the sandbox. Or worse, they became scared of forcing anything on the player in survival mode. With modern Mojang, the creeper never would have been added. And so, with it really being only the sandbox side being embraced to such an extent by Mojang, this YouTube content was also left to focus more on the sandbox side. With nothing to very little new for the RPG side, people just kind of began to forget that it was even there. It became something just in the background in silence, leading us to where we are today, still in the ever-ongoing debate of what matters most in Minecraft. But at the end of the day, Minecraft survival mode isn't a sandbox with RPG mechanics. It's a game with sandbox and RPG mechanics. It is a semi-sandbox and a semi-RPG, and hopefully this statement can maybe clear up some of this fighting.
that's probably just me being too hopeful. So that will do it for this video. Bye everyone, I hope to see you in the next one. And I cannot wait to continue with that improving Minecraft series. See ya.